The British Isles is surrounded by the sea and over the years families living in villages and towns close to the sea have always worked in harmony. For as many years as men have worked on the sea, there has always been the need for boats and people living in the villages and towns to come together to rescue those in peril. Each coastal village or town had groups of men from the area who were generally fishermen with a sturdy, well-designed boat ready to go to the rescue as quickly as the weather would allow. In some areas these men were called beachmen and they would be remembered as the men who manned the lifeboats. They were sometimes called storm warriors. In those early days the only way of getting the lifeboat to the danger area as quickly as possible was to launch off the beach and then use the oars or the sails. In those days they didn't have engines and their life jackets were made of cork. And they used to hear the rollers go up and say, oh, that's a boat in trouble. You knew the boat was in trouble. And that was a Friday morning, and uh, I was off school at the time. Mother was cleaning black lead in the stove, the old cooking range we had there. And the rockets went up, and I said to her mum, I said, that's dad. She said to me, that, that they, then your dad, he didn't have time to go out there yet. He wasn't gone yet. But about half an hour, three quarters of an hour later, the man from the mission came round and told my mother to put hot water bottles in the bed as though father had been shipwrecked. Well, let she spun a plank. She went out and uh, I think she spun a plank on the same bank, probably moved with the gales a bit. And she sprung it up when the planks went and she started taking water and they got as far as there and blocked the harbour mouth up. He lost everything. They never got no compensation or anything like that. The other people were in the boat and my father had to climb up the masts while they rescued them and then he, they, and then he climbed down and got in the boat. Everybody was saved and nobody was lost on it. Lucky Head. Lucky Head. <laughs> Lucky Head. That's the name of the boat. <laughs> 